It took for a little while, however GMC and Cadillac's restrictive on the 420 pull truck engine is finished. Accessible just in the new Tahoe RST and upheld by a 10-speed programmed, the 6.2-liter V8 makes this the quickest Tahoe ever, with Chevy asserting 060 out of 5.7 seconds. That being stated, the tires are useful for just 130 miles per hour and the limiter is lower than that, so despite everything you can't beat a 5.3 fueled PPV. The Rally Street Truck Bundle for the Tahoe or Suburban is just a beautifying agent's package, including haggles, with power outage and shading coordinated trim supplanting chrome, new grille and identifications, and Blur Elms HLP 285-45R22 110H tires on the one-of-a-kind wheels. We like the unobtrusive upgrades, which aren't spent, yet to every her own. The RST bundle is accessible on 2WD or 4WD models, and none of the mechanical alternatives influence the tow evaluations, which are more noteworthy than 8,000 pounds. Discretionary on the Tahoe yet not the Suburban is the 6.2-liter motor bundle. For a sensible $2,800, it includes the 420-pole motor with 460 pound-feet of torque, the 10-speed programmed. 3.23 to 1 riggings, incorporated trailer brake control, 2 speed dynamic exchange case on 4WD, major alternator, and most critical, attractive ride control damping with an execution tilt. You can likewise get Brembo provided 16.1 inch front brakes with 6 cylinder calipers for $2,795, which are additionally offered on the 2018 Yukon Denali and a Borla debilitate Chevy says includes 710 raise wheel pull and 28% more stream. At certain throttle settings it includes around 28% more commotion, as well. Sledge the gas in the 6.2 cries, propelling the Tahoe forward with scarcely a tweet, in 2WD. The sub 6 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time feels totally conceivable, yet when at that enchantment number we pondered what will I do with the other 8 riggings. It's possible you can utilize any of seven apparatuses at most street speeds, and the movements are fast and clean in any case what number of interims are skipped, so the ostensible 1500 revs between top strength and pinnacle torque are to a great extent unimportant. EPA city appraisals drop by two from the 5.3 however roadway numbers are indistinguishable, and are only indicated 21 against EPA's 22 gauge. Our ears still locate the 5.3 a mechanically sweeter, more refined sound, yet at these cruising revs it's more probable audio feels will identify V4 operation rather than boisterous resonation. The Borla debilitate sounds definitive at direct to wide throttle application before subsiding into foundation clamor, however it ought to be noticed our backseat traveler reported unprompted that following 45 minutes he'd feel sick of it. You may, as well, towing a trailer up a long review. The marriage of motor to gearbox is great, with just a single unbalanced move felt where activity couldn't work itself out, and going from D to M at interstate speeds by and large dropped it into 7. In delicate interstate cruising the tack at times rippled in the 1100 to 1300 territory, which we'll credit to converter bolting as the V4 symbol was dim. The guiding feels heavier than other late Tejos, even those fitted with Merchant introduced 22s of a similar size, and the damping alignment is certainly solidified yet there's no pogo stain on interstate pieces or shocks. Extreme grass might be up marginally, and change builds the poorer the street surface gets on the grounds that MRC is such a great amount of better at keeping tires in contact. We're torn with respect to whether the additional execution benefits exceed the elastic band tire disadvantages. The brake pedal may have somewhat better tweak, in any event profound into the movement, than the standard game plan and the enormous increment in cleared region should adapt to those risky trailer brakes better, yet Sir Jower Dallas activity offered no investigative choices. On a 4WD Premier Tahoe the RST pack is $2,630, a large portion of which is the wheels, the 6.2 Execution pack $2,820, the front brakes $2,795 and a couple of sundry redesigns brought the aggregate to barely short of $79,000. For brisk reference that is about the same as a base X550 IM Sport. $5,000 not exactly a GLS 450, and $8,000 more than a pleasantly fitted Durango SRT, none of which tow or convey to such an extent. A Platinum Expedition with 400 horsepower and 480 pounds to foot, that tows a thousand pounds more, is comparable cash.